now I'm gonna show another thematic game by Kramnik. Um, he's playing with the white pieces again. Uh, this was played when he was, I think, only 16 years old or 17, possibly. So it's it's white to move here. He's playing with the white pieces, and uh, what are the main features of the position? Well. Black has two bishops, but that's not really noticeable at the moment because they're very passive. White has a strong knight on e5, and that is mostly due to the fact that he's got a you know an isolated queen pawn, which gives him a bit of space and some attacking ideas as well. The other thing is that White has set up quite a battery here on b1 h7 diagonal. That is, you know, the attack is only not crashing through yet because Black has a knight on. Uh, f6, that kind of defense things, um, and uh, let's see, what could white do here? Uh, well, he could try to exchange this knight with something like knight to e4, but that would probably just, you know, lead to more exchanges and then black could um, defend. He could try to win the pawn here with knight to g4, and if takes the mate, um, and then black would probably have to play g6, and white would would win this pawn, but that all that seemed not enough to Kramnik because I mean, if he does this, he may also lose the f pawn. So he does something different. He um, he tries to open up files. Basically, this is the key when you're attacking, when you have you know an isolated pawn. You want to open up some files and and really exploit your active placement of pieces. So Kramnik here goes pawn to d5, and what that does is that. Uh, it creates extra pressure on black's position well because the pawn threatens to advance the pawn threatens to capture on e6 and black doesn't really have a terribly good way to respond because he cannot capture it say if he goes c takes well then this is over because uh, the queen hangs white threatens checkmate uh, on uh, h7 this is mate so if uh, if the pawn takes, then the queen falls. Um, and m most importantly, if this happens, then white just wins an extra piece quite easily. And similarly, you know, any other capture like e takes is bad for pretty much exactly the same reasons. So also bad is, as I said, the fact that the pawn can advance potentially, so black tries to protect e e6, while well, then white has a strong move pawn to d6, and then just you know, this is not pretty, right? This again needs to either white winning a piece or black getting checkmated. Not fun. So so black pretty much c just can't do anything about this pawn. This is this is the interesting feature of this game. So black you know, try to stop d6. That's reasonable. And then, the funny thing is that Kramnik does nothing again. He just improves his position, and black is almost in Zugzwang here. This is the interesting part about this this game. He could really chop on e6 instead, but, inst but uh, he just prefers to strengthen his position, and it turns out that black is running out of moves. So he tried to, to go king h8, maybe to avoid some checks, but that just really walks him into, you know, a worse square. So D takes and uh, black has a ruined pawn structure, weak light squares, and you know given the fact that the material is even, um, this is a very difficult position. But still it, this is far from over because I mean white has a double pawn so his advantage lies in the opportunity to attack so uh, he goes knight e4, you know, now he ex exchanges this knight, g6, just trying to, you know, trying to deal with the threat of basically knight takes and mate, so he has to block the diagonal, but then the diagonal is opened up again, black has to exchange and defend g8, and now that the bishop has done all it could and, you know, impose the weakening of the diagonal he goes um, bishop a2 and now he's attacking this this pawn 
So black already has no hope of, of defending the pawn, so he lets Crown Mick take there. And now uh, the final blow comes in um, this knight d7 check. And the idea, I suppose, is that, wow, if black takes, then rather than taking, he first gives this really unpleasant check. Um, and, you know, black's busted, right? He can't, uh, if he retreats, he's gonna lose the rook, and then he's just gonna lose everything, so he'll be down a rook. This is quite a, this is quite a beating, right? So, uh, so black resigned here. Uh, the game illustrates really well, you know, that when you have a pass, like when you have an isolated pawn, the best plan you have is to push it, and it also shows that when you're defending against this kind of this kind of pressure, you really want your pawns to be placed a bit differently. You want a pawn on g6 and h7, not the way Black had in this game, which is really was the issue for him. Um, and and of course, the game shows that Kramnik, you know, knows how to handle these positions uh, quite well, as I've also shown in the other videos. Thanks for watching.